Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 laptop where there is no low battery notification appearing. So normally a warning message would pop up when you have very little battery life remaining and it requests that you plug your computer back into a power source. However, if you're not seeing this message, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving that problem. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So what I recommend starting with is opening up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match, come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And you want to go down and select the power option. So select the power troubleshooter here. And if it was able to detect anything, I'd recommend hopefully following along with it at that point. And something else you may also want to consider doing would be to remove the battery and then plug it back in. Something else I recommend trying as well, close out of here, open up the search menu and type in device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the battery section and then right click on the batteries that are listed under here and then select uninstall device, select uninstall. And now close out of everything and then restart your computer and then the battery driver should be automatically reinstalled once your computer restarts. Again, make sure your battery is plugged in, of course. And there you go. Hopefully that should have resolved the problem. Something else you want to take a look into as well would be opening up the search menu and type in control panel. Best result, should go back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. So your view by up in the top right to large icons. And then you want to select power options. You want to select where it says change plan settings for whichever plan is currently selected here. And then you want to select where it says restore default settings for this plan. Are you sure you want to restore this plan to default settings? Go ahead and select yes. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.